is Kimberly from Lakeside Loops, and today we're going to work on the Camden Cable Crochet Hat. You'll need to head to my blog first. It's lakesideloops.com where you can find the free written pattern. This video will only cover the harder parts of the design, so for the stitch counts, the yardage, and the full instructions, you'll need the written pattern. So on my website, you can find it all there. There's also lots of pictures and a chart to help you as well. You'll also need some Lion Brand Feels Like Butter and a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. So today I'm going to be working up the newborn size and I'm just going to show you any of the parts that you might have questions about. There are actually several sizes that you can make this hat in from newborn all the way up to adult. So when you head to the blog for the instructions, you'll see there the varying chain lengths. Um, to start with, we're working the hat from the bottom up. So we're going to create a long beginning chain and then we're going to loop back to our very first chain and slip stitch into it to create a circle. Now, whoop, <laughs> easier said than done on camera. Now we're going to be working around our circular chain to build our hat up. So I'm going to chain two and I'm going to half double crochet all the way around this chain. All right, so I've completed round one, and for round two, we're going to chain two, and we're going to be doing a front post double crochet, sorry, yes, a front post double crochet, and then a half double crochet all the way around. So this first stitch is a front post double crochet, and then we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. and then front post double crochet, half double crochet into the next stitch. Oops. And this is gonna give us a nice ribbed look to our hat. This is the part that we're doing right here. So we're gonna be repeating this for a few rounds or if you're doing the newborn size like I am, only a couple of rounds. Have a look at the written instructions to see how many times you do this, how many rounds you go before you get into the cables, which is round seven. So for some sizes, you're going to be skipping ahead to round seven. Like for newborn, I'm only doing the very first round and then two rounds of this, so three rounds, and then I'm skipping all the way ahead to round seven. Okay, so this is my hat so far at the end of round three, and depending on which size you're making, you might be stopping here or you might be doing a few more rounds to build up your rib before you move on to the cable part. For the newborn size, you stop at round three. Obviously, for the adult size, you keep going and make a wider or taller, I guess, ribbed section at the bottom of your hat. Now I'm going to move on to the cables, which is round seven. So I'm just gonna stop at round three and skip ahead to round seven in the written instructions. And for round seven, we're going to chain two. We're going to skip the next two stitches and front post treble around the following two stitches. So we're going to skip the first two stitches, this stitch and this stitch, we're going to skip them. And we're going to front post treble around the following two stitches. So I'm gonna yarn over twice for my treble, again, I'm skipping one, two, so I'm gonna start with this one. One, two, three, there's my first front post treble, and now I'm going to front post treble around the next stitch after that. I don't know why I always count when I do a treble. Now we're going to go back and we're going to front post treble around the stitches that we skipped. So we're gonna start with our first skipped stitch and then move on to our second skip stitch. You're gonna yarn over twice and you're gonna put your finger here so your yarn doesn't slide off your hook and you're gonna bend your hook or angle your hook back to get it around that first skipped stitch. I know I'm all thumbs in these videos, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know why I like to hold the yarn like that, but um, now I'm going to yarn over it twice and I'm going to go around that second skip stitch. Okay. 
And this is your very first cable twist in your hat. Now we're going to double crochet in the next four stitches. So we wrapped a treble around this stitch. So this one right here is where our first double, cro double crochet is going. <laughs> double crochet is going to go. And we're going to do four of these. And don't worry too much about the holes. Um, they will tighten up a bit as we build up our cables, but also, as you guys know, with crochet, there's just holes sometimes. And I'll show you my finished hat here. So, and now we're going to switch back into the cables. So we're gonna switch, we're going to skip these two stitches, and we're going to front post treble around these two stitches, and then we're gonna go back and front post treble around these two stitches, just like we did here. And we're just gonna do this all the way around. I just want to show you guys, this was that, this is that same round on a finished hat. As you can see, you can see some holes here, but they do tighten up when we pull the cables this way. It sort of closes the gaps and the holes. Like you can see these ones are kind of covered by that. If you're really irritated with it, another option is to take your crochet hook and sort of pull your cables out to cover up the holes. I don't know how well they'll stay. You could always throw a sewing stitch in there, I suppose. But I don't mind the holes. It's just part of crochet, I think. And especially if you're working with cables and crochet. But anyway, that's what the finished product looks like. <laughs> All right, so I finished round seven and now round eight is just a repeat of round seven. We're just gonna make our cables extra twisty. So I'm gonna chain two. And we're going to skip the first two stitches, which are tucked in behind here. It's this stitch and this stitch. You can tell by the top, right? We're gonna skip this and this, and we're going to front post double, front post treble crochet around this one and this one. So I've yarned over twice, and I'm going to front post double crochet around these two stitches. And now we're gonna go back and we're gonna front post treble crochet around the two that we skipped. And they are tucked well in behind here. So you're gonna to have to use your hook and sort of pull out that first stitch with your hook, the first skip stitch. And then we're gonna front post treble. And then we're gonna yarn over twice and we're gonna do the same thing with that second skip stitch. It's well in behind there. Look, you can see my hook going all the way over here to grab that stitch and pull it around. And now we've got a really good twisty cable and we're going to double crochet into the next four stitches. And we're just gonna do this all the way around. All right, so I finished round eight and now for round nine, we get a bit of a break and we're just gonna double crochet all the way around. So I've chained two and we just want to make sure we're going to go into every stitch along the top here. So we don't want to leave out these ones that are in behind here. Just focus on the top and make sure you get into every stitch. Okay, so I've completed round 9 and now we're on to round 10. This round's pretty fun because we're going to be working over top of our previous round. So. We're going to be slip stitching into these stitches that are above our cable. And then we're going to be doing front post trebles to bring these section of cables together to meet in the middle. So we're not even gonna chain one. We're just going to start by slip stitching into the first four stitches. And we're going to slip stitch loosely because we need to work into these sti slip stitches in the next round. So we don't wanna make them too tight. Okay, so now I've completed my four slip stitches, which line up right over top of these cables. We're going to be front post trebling, 
around the previous two stitches from round eight. So round nine was our round of just straight double crochets. So round eight is down here and the previous two stitches, if you sort of put your hook down like this, it kind of helps you to see. So we slip stitched over this stitch and slip stitched over this stitch. So these are our previous two stitches, but we want not round nine, but round eight, which is down here. So we're gonna be front post trebling around these two cables that are pointing that way. So I'm gonna yarn over twice and we're gonna go around this cable first and do a front post treble. And now we're going to front post treble around the one next to it. Just like that. Now our instructions say to skip the next four stitches so if I bend these cables back, we're going to be skipping one, two, three, four, which brings me to here. And we're going to be front post trebling around the next two stitches, again from round eight. So we're not front post trebling around this stitch and this stitch. We're going down to this row or round, and we're going to be front post trebling around this stitch in behind here and this other stitch in behind here. So these two guys. So I'm going to yarn over twice. Again, I'm going to put my finger here so my yarn doesn't slide off. And this is the first one we're going to work around. And now the second one's tucked in behind, so I just use my hook to pull it out. One, two, three. All right, so you can kind of see better what we did there we've brought those cables together and we're sort of working over top of our previous round now we're going to slip stitch into the next four stitches so again nice and loose so we skipped four so one two three four so my slip stitch my first slip stitch needs to go right in here And again, the slip stitches line up over top of these cables. So one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be front post trebling. I'll just take my hook out. Around this stitch, this stitch, and then in behind here to this stitch and this stitch to make them look like these guys over here. We're just going to do that all the way around. I hope that makes sense. If it's unclear, the chart that's within the written pattern will hopefully help you see where your stitches need to go. And there are pictures within the written pattern on the blog as well. All right, so I finished round 10 and now moving on to round 11. It's very similar to round 7 in that we're going to be doing four double crochets and some cable work. Um, so we're going to start by chaining two and we're going to work four double crochets into our first four stitches which are our slip stitches from our previous round so they're a little bit tricky to get into which is why you got to make sure to keep them nice and loose all right so i've got my first my chain and then my first four double crochet now we're going to be skipping the next two stitches which are these cables here and we're going to be front post trebling around the following two stitches. So I've yarned over twice and our first treble goes here and our second treble goes here. And now we're going to go back to our skipped stitches which are these two here and we're going to work a front post treble around our first skip stitch and then our second skip stitch. And now our second skip stitch. So our cables have now crossed over one another. And we're going to move back into the double crochets into these slip stitches. 
All right, so I finished round 11. Round 12 is just a repeat of round 11. So we're going to double crochet in our first four stitches. And now we're going to skip the next two stitches and front post treble around the following two stitches. So we're skipping these two stitches that are in behind here. Again, you can look at the top to see what you need to do. You need to skip these two stitches, which are almost invisible. They're tucked in behind here. And front post treble around the following two stitches, which are these cables right here. Again, I'm so sorry about my thumbs. It's just the best way that I am able to make the trebles, but I know it kind of blocks the view. So we front post trebled around those. Now we're going to yarn over twice, and we're going to front post treble around our two skip stitches, which are again tucked in behind. You can see them right there. So yarn over twice, bring my hook back, and around the first skip stitch, work a treble. and the second skip stitch. And we're going to do this all the way around our hat. All right, so I skipped ahead here and I finished round 13, which, which was just a round of double crochets. And we're moving on to round 14. So for this round, I don't have a beginning chain. We're immediately gonna jump in because we're gonna be working over top of round 13. So it's just like this round that we did back here where we brought these cables together. We're gonna to be doing the same thing on this round. So when we did that down here, we started with four slip stitches. This time we're diving right into the cables. So I'm gonna yarn over twice and I'm gonna front post treble around the two previous stitches from round 12. So again, round 13 was the double crochets. Round 12 is down here. So these two cables right here, which are on the other side, like I just joined my round right here and I'm going backwards, which may seem a little odd, but that's how we do it with this hat. So one front post treble, now a second front post treble. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to keep my thumbs out of this and keep it in focus. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Okay, so we've done those. Now we're going to skip the next four stitches and front post treble around the following two stitches again from round 12. So not round 13, but round 12. We're skipping four, so one, two, three, four. So we're looking right here and here, but we're going down. Whoops, 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 whoops. These uh, cables that are hidden behind will be the ones that we're working around. So one, two. Now it says to slip stitch into the next four stitches. So again, our slip stitches line up over top of our cables. So we skipped four stitches, one, two, three, four. So our first slip stitch goes right here. And loosely slip stitch in the next four stitches. Two, three, four. And then we're gonna go back into our front post trebles and we'll be working, whoa, there we go, we'll be working around these two and then these two over here, just like we did down here. So we're going to do that all the way around. Okay, so I've skipped ahead here again and I'm actually at round 18, which for the newborn size is where I stop and I start doing some decreases in order to finish off the top of my hat. Before I dive into that, I wanted to touch base with you about how to count your rounds. 
My first tip is don't try to count the cables because as you can see they all blend together and you can't really tell which round is which. Definitely go by the half double crochets if you're counting your trim and the double crochets when you're counting the cable part of your hat. Also, depending on which size you did, you may have skipped some rounds with your trim. So in the case of the newborn hat, I did three rounds and then I skipped ahead to round seven. So when I'm counting up to see where I need to stop, I'm gonna start here at round seven. So no matter what size you did, wherever your first round of cables are, that's round seven. So starting here, I'm gonna go seven, eight, and so on to the top of my hat. The other tricky part is that we worked some rounds on top of one another. So the rounds that we did that were double crochets with, and then the next round was slip stitches with front post trebles over top of the double crochets, that's actually two rounds, but it's only going to look like one when we're counting up. So we actually need to count these rounds as two as we go up. I'm going to show you how I do it. So starting here, seven, eight, nine, and then I move over to here, ten. 9 and 10 are actually, they look like they're the same round, but these were the ones where we crossed over top of one another. So they're actually two rounds. So 7, 8, 9, switching over, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so you'll see in the written pattern that depending on which size you're making, the directions are split into two. So for the newborns, and that's, that's because depending on which size you're making, your stopping point could be different. So for me, I have my cables over here, but if you were working on a different size, you may have gone up a little further in the hat and your cables may be right here. So for the newborn size, um, my instructions are on the left, but if I were making a toddler or a child size, as you'll see in the written instructions, there's sort of two columns, and depending on which size hat you're making, that's which column you should follow. We're just gonna be doing some decreases to sort of thin out the top of our hat. And then you can attach a pom-pom and you are all done. I really hope that you found this video tutorial helpful and that you enjoy this pattern. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'd love to help any way that I can. Thank you so much for watching. I would love if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel or um, check out my blog or my Instagram or Facebook pages. Thank you so much, guys.